Hey guys, this video we're going to be repairing this stripped out um, oil pan bolt threads. Um, so it's stripped out pretty bad um, to the point where you know I could just pull the bolt right out. So these are 5 sixteenths by I think uh, 18 or 16 the coarse thread ones. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to tap this to the next size up, which is going to be 3 eighths by 16. <clears throat> so the, the tap, the, uh, the drill size for this 3 eighths by 16 is actually 5 16. So this works, works pretty well. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through it with this uh, drill bit right here. And... It should do a pretty good job centering up because, um, you know, it's our, it, the drill bit sort of follows the hole. And then I'm going to tap it to 3 uh, three eighths by 16. So, here we go. And notice how I have the transmission. This is on the transmission, by the way. This is for my 42RH rebuild. Um, if you want to see the rebuild video of this transmission, click on the link on the screen and you'll go right to that. So notice how I have it tilted this way so all the chips will fall down this way. So we're just going to drill into this. And it wasn't that hard because all we had to do was just pretty much get rid of what was left of those 5 16 threads. Get those chips out of there. So now we're going to tap this 3 8 and this is uh, a taper tap. Notice how uh, the beginning threads it has sort of um, it tapers off and they don't really start to bite until you get to the threads down here. So this is a good tap to start things off with. If you want to get deeper into the hole, you would use um, a bottoming tap. So we're going to start off straight, as straight as we can. Just going to look at it from two angles here, and we're just going to. Tap this. And as soon as it bites, then you're pretty much good to go. Okay, that's the bottom. Then we're just going to test fit a bolt. And there you go. Now, this bolt is too big, so I got to cut this one. But that's all there is to it. Um, I can get a bottoming tap to get a little bit more threads on that, but I think for now that's going to be good. So that was it, that was a little quick video on how to drill and tap a hole. Um, so, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.